So we have this 10 feet from our front door. Check this out, guys. Look at that. This is living life. We're at the wall in Badlands, just outside Badlands National Park. And we're dry camping for a couple of days. This is insane. It's crazy. It's beautiful out here. You got to come out here and check this out. It's worth it. It's amazing. Look at that. That's the view. Plenty of spots available. I cannot wait for the sunrise in the morning. Get out here. Enjoy life. Make this happen. This is what it's all about. things you notice when you're driving in at least on 90 west coming in on 90 west are all the signs hundreds of miles out the signs for wall drug well we're staying at the uh, badlands and wall drugs right here so we're going to go over and check out wall drug and we've been by here a couple times and never stopped yeah let's go check it out let's do it see what the, all the uh, excitement is about, about. Yeah. <laughs> Cold water? Yeah. Oh, that makes it worth it, doesn't it? It does. All right. Nice, free, cold water. Okay. So there's a drugstore after all. I was beginning to have my doubts. There's also a restaurant. Apparently, uh, wall drug is just basically a big tourist trap. <laughs> right? It is. There might be remnants of a very small drugstore in there, but besides that, it's just really like any other um run of the mill well yeah run shop. like what, what do i want to say like when you're down at the beach or something like that and you go into the shops with all the t-shirts and little knickknacks and things like that if you want to collect souvenirs if you're if you like to go places and everywhere you go you want to get a souvenir then this would be definitely a place you could find a large selection if you're staying over at the badlands would you recommend coming over here and checking this out uh, i probably wouldn't but yeah. If I had children, they could come over and you get notice there's a couple restaurants in there. So yeah. we were here about 15, 20 minutes. I mean, people are literally coming, actually coming yeah. here on tour bus. I mean, look, the place Amazing. is crowded. People are coming here. There's RVs yeah. parked over there. Yeah. Easy uh, access right off the interstate. So I don't blame them for coming over here, checking it out. But once you get over here, it's really not much. But I guess it's a place for you to stop, you know, relax and get something to eat. So, you know, if you mm -hmm. want to do that, then yeah, it's worth checking out. We are here at the wall in 
The Badlands. The Badlands. Not much. to be confused with Badlands National Park, because that's right down the road. Which is, yes, absolutely. It's right down the road. Yeah, this is free, free boondocking, and it's worth it. At its best. Yes. This one thing you got to keep in mind if you come here, it's going to be windy, very windy. I think that's a normal thing. It's been pleasantly cool or comfortable in the evening, so we didn't have to run the ACs. We didn't run, we didn't run the AC well, at all. Well, a lot of people have did run their generators all evening. We chose not to, but the heat was fine. If we had the windows open and the breeze going through, we were okay. In the evenings, it was comfortable, so there was no need for us to run the ACs. We didn't even run the AC at all during the day. We just ran the fans and opened up the... Uh, the windows and um, we were fine mm -hmm. yeah sure. it's very nice the view is amazing now we came here on a um, Tuesday Wednesday Tuesday. Wednesday Wednesday so there we had no issues no problems finding a spot we probably pulled in around well, you want to tell them what you did we chose for me to go ahead first in the Jeep and check out find a spot and then kind of wait there and then Chris would follow behind in the RV so I came up the northern entrance which is a little bumpy and there is kind of a steep grade, grade on one of the hills, but not terribly bad. Chris was able to get up it with no problem with the uh, with our diesel pusher. I had no issues coming in. Uh, there were a couple steep spots, but it handled it just fine. And once I got up here, there were other rigs up here, whether they were fifth wheels and class A's that were every bit as big, if not bigger than ours. Yeah. When you come in, just take it nice and easy, slow and steady, you'll be fine. Now. They have a south entrance, which is down a little bit farther. If you go in the more southern entrance, the views and the spots out that way are much more amazing than in the area we're at. I mean, if you guys think the site that we have is amazing, you gotta go down to the southern entrance. Yeah. That's the place to be. Now look, the site we're at is um, a little, un it was unlevel and there are plenty of level sp spots around here. I think the best thing to do is to come during the middle of the week. So let's say you want to boondock for a week or more, maybe come during the middle of the week and you got a better chance of getting a good spot and come get here early, but I'd say before 11, mm -hmm. wouldn't you? Well, we had talked about that. Most people, we saw people leaving this morning, it was around, between 8 and 9 30 probably i'd say a lot of people leaving so if you're going to come maybe try to come right after those hours right after quite a few people leave um but again there's a lot of spots here there are spots and if you can't get a spot on the wall you can still get a spot on the grassy area up here also so if you're just looking for somewhere to spend a couple nights boondocking and you're not worried that you have to be on the wall there's a lot of spots if you're scared of heights and you're hesitant about parking this close to the edge you could park on the other side of the road in some grassy areas are you talking about someone so uh well someone i do know personally who's a little scared of edges <laughs> you know joel uh, anyway um oh. but yeah it, it's a fantastic i i once again i wish we were staying here a little bit longer i understand why people enjoy boondocking so much and bring your bug spray because the flies bite and they hurt <laughs> yes, they bite. <laughs> 
<laughs> I do. hate the flies. But this is truly an experience uh, worth checking out. It doesn't make a difference if you're a full-time RVer or a part-time RVer. There are people here in their cars with tents on top from to vans to fifth wheels everything so i really don't think it matters you just got to come out here for a day or two or longer and really take this in and enjoy it's very peaceful and quiet in the evening just it's it really is an amazing experience and i can't wait to come back he always is waiting to come back wow this is nice this is really nice cell towers there are quite a few cell towers so we've Where? had no problem we've had no problem with our cell service for verizon at least and we have used the Starlink? Yeah, the Starlink has worked fabulous out here. It's perfect. Almost perfect. Why is it, what is it? Why is it almost? Well, I don't, I can't find a pool anywhere. It'd be nice to have a pool. Jeez. Why? Are you warm? A pool. Just go swimming in a pool. Jeez. It'd be kind of cool. But no, it's, it's perfect. It's, it, this is a little slice of heaven out here mm -hmm. in South Dakota. It's beautiful. Yeah. Have ever been here? Leave a comment down below. Tell us what you think about the place. Did you enjoy it? Enjoy it? Did you have a favorite spot? Um, did you have a hard time finding a spot? Leave a comment down below. Let us know what, what you guys time think. Year, ask, and actually, what time of year? If you did have trouble, what time of year was it? Yeah, did was it, it on the weekend or was it during the week? Did anyone come out here during the winter? And what was it like? And can you come out here? During, I don't know if you even can do that. I don't know. Can you do that? We're actually going to sit out tonight and enjoy the sunset and maybe stay up and see the stars tonight. What do you think? We'll try. Stay up past our bedtime. Yeah. All right, guys. This is getaway day and uh, we're headed out. We're headed to, um, I'm not sure where we're going, but we're leaving. We're headed to uh, a campground about two hours from here. But uh, we're gonna wrap up. We've really enjoyed our stay here at the uh, Wall the Badlands. I wish I could stay a few more days. Uh, we will definitely come back and stay for longer next time when we get better boondocking. So we're going to wrap up, we're going to head out and um, get on the road here and we will see you guys. Right.